India recently announced the creation of its own light battle tank, the Zorawa. This achievement puts the Indian Army on track to compete with its major rival, the People's Liberation Army, using the Type 15 light tank in the Himalayan region. Zorawa, a collaborative effort between Larson and Tubro, l &T, and the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, has developed a light tank in less than two years. The l and Hazira contributed significantly to the prototype's development by partnering with the Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment, a DRDO laboratory. However, as DRDO Chief Samir Kamath stated, this is only the first iteration of the Zorawa tank. It must undergo thorough testing in a variety of environmental, geographical, climatic, and user trials before the Indian Army can officially approve it for large-scale production and deployment. These tests will likely take another 2 to 2.5 years. The Zorawa weighs 25 tons and is operated by a three-person crew. It is fitted with a Belgian-designed Cockerill 3105 turret, which houses a 105mm cannon with an autoloader capable of firing 912 16 rounds per minute. It is also equipped with a 12.7mm cannon. It also has an integrated capability to deploy an unmanned aerial vehicle, which improves battlefield visibility. The engine selection for the Zorawa light tank has taken unforeseen turns. Initially, the developers chose a German MTU engine with 600 kilowatt output. Nonetheless, because of delays, it was decided to replace the engines in the prototypes with a more powerful American Cummins 750 horsepower engine. This engine has an ideal power to weight ratios. According to reports, Rolls-Royce is interested in delivering MTU 8V199 engines for the project. The engine offered by Rolls-Royce produces 800 kilowatts. In the long term, India aims to develop its own domestic engine for the Zorawa. Therefore, the engine issue is a work in progress, with the American Cummins engine powering the early prototypes. The current Zorawa prototype has a power-to-weight ratio of less than 40 horsepower per ton. This ratio is specifically intended to meet the low ground pressure requirements mandated by the surface features common in the high-altitude region of Ladakh. Another necessity for the tank is that it performs effectively in the low-density air of Ladakh, where the average elevation is 5,000 meters above sea level. This is critical for the tank to meet its mobility requirements on mountainous terrain, where engine performance becomes increasingly important. The CVRDE and l &T prototype is lighter than the Chinese Type 15, weighing around 33 tons. However, after installing extra armor, the Chinese version's weight rises to 36 tons. This could happen with the Zorawa tank if Army requests extra armor for the light tank. Furthermore, the Army may request the inclusion of an active protection system, APS, to detect and neutralize incoming anti-tank weapons, which is currently lacking in the Army's existing tanks, such as the T-72s and T-90s. The initial order for the light tank will consist of 59 tanks, with a potential follow-up order of roughly 350 tanks for seven tank regiments. Regardless of the number of tanks the army chooses to purchase, the DRDO and industry must work together to ensure timely delivery of the Zorawa light tanks. Over the coming few months and years, the Indian Defense Establishment and Indian Army will confront a tremendous challenge and opportunity when they deploy Zorawa light tank against Chinese Type 15 light tanks. These tanks are now stationed in Ladakh, Xinjiang and Tibet as part of the PLA's Western Theater Command. According to DRDO Chief Kamath, the Zorawa is scheduled to be operationally available by 2027 after undergoing user trials. This time frame must be reached. Now, do you think India will be able to finally field the Zorawa tank in Himalayas, given its past performance with the Arjun tank? Let us know in the comments. We discuss such interesting topics every day. Please like, share and subscribe for more such stories in the future.